So welcome friends. Uh, my name is Miranda. I am a 500 hour registered yoga teacher and I love to practice outdoors in nature. Um, today we're going to do an anti-rheumatic series of yoga movements which is really good for the joints and connecting with the water element which I have plenty of behind me as you can see. I'm filming here in Martinique which is a French Caribbean island. We're going to start with both legs extended forward, sitting on the earth or the mat. Keep the spine long and look at your toes here. On the next inhale, flex the feet, bring the toes towards you. Exhale, point the toes. So just the toes, not the entire foot or feet. Inhale, toes back. Exhale, toes forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Exhale forward. Now we'll do the whole feet. So inhale, flex the feet back. You'll feel this in the legs. Exhale, point the feet forward. Inhale. Exhale. This is lubricating our ankles and warming up the ankle joints. Inhale. Exhale. And make sure there's some space in between your legs and we'll just rotate the ankles. You can rotate feet in towards each other for a few breaths. Exhale, rotate feet outwards for a few breaths. And then clasp underneath the left knee. On the inhale, we'll bend the leg. On the exhale, we'll extend it forward. So inhale, bend the knee, lubricating the knee joint. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, bend the knee, bring the right ankle somewhere between the left knee and thigh, and start to rotate the hip. So bring your awareness to the inside of that hip joint, and start to gently rotate the knee. Feel kind of like a massage in the inner hip. Do a few in the opposite direction. Again, keeping that spine long and tall. And then we'll gently guide the knee up and down. So you're not really forcing it, you're just guiding it. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And we'll return that right leg forward. Take a breath in between sides to notice the difference between the right leg that we've warmed up and the left leg, which we haven't. And then clasp underneath the left knee, bend the left leg, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, now we'll Place the left foot in between the right knee and hip. Make sure you support that leg with both hands. Gently rotate into the left hip socket. Rotate clockwise and also counterclockwise. This is opening up, lubricating the hips. And then we'll gently guide the knee up and down, finding that range of motion in the left hip. Inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, and then release the left leg forward. You can keep the legs extended or you can come into Sukhasana, easy seated pose, easy cross-legged pose, whatever's comfortable. So we're going to work up the body. We're going to work with the arms next, so extend the arms forward in front of the body. Inhale, extend the fingers out wide. Exhale, make small fists. Inhale, extend the fingers, feel the webbing in between each finger. Exhale, make fists. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And we'll bring the fingers together, hands above the earth. On the inhale, we'll flex the fingers up. Exhale, flex the hands down. Inhale up. Exhale down a couple more times. This is stretching the fingers, the wrists, and the nerves, and the arms. And then 
then we'll just make gentle fists and rotate into the wrists. Rotate in towards each other and then out away from each other, keeping the arms lifted. Relax the arms for a breath. I like to do these wrist and finger stretches after I've been on the computer for a while. Inhale the arms up, palms up. And on the inhale, we'll bring the hands towards the shoulders. Exhale, extend. Inhale, hands to shoulders. Exhale, extend the arms. This is lubricating the elbow joints. And then one more time. Bring the hands to the shoulders. Start to rotate the elbows in front of you. So imagine you're just painting little circles on a canvas directly in front of you. Go in both directions for a few rotations. And then keeping the fingers on the shoulders, rotate the elbows out to the sides. Roll the shoulders forward for a few breaths. And then roll the shoulders backwards. This is of course lubricating and opening the shoulders. And relax the arms, bring them back to the knees, relax. And we'll transition to the head and the neck. So on the, keep the teeth lightly connected so you don't lean too far back. On the inhale, bring the head back, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale back, exhale forward, inhale, exhale. Couple more times. Come back to center. On the inhale, we'll look towards the right shoulder. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, look over the left. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, right. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Do this a few more times on each side. done five times on each side. And then we'll progress to the next posture. On the inhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder, exhale back to center, then drop the left ear to the left shoulder and come back to center. Inhale right, exhale, inhale left, exhale, and then do this three more times on each side. And then we'll finish up with neck rolls. So on the inhale, roll the head back. Exhale, roll the head forward. Making slow, mindful rotations into the neck, trying to keep the rest of the body still and relaxed. And after you've done four or five and one direction, reverse, and do a few in the opposite direction. Just enjoy this movement in the body and the sounds of the ocean. Come back to center. Again, my name is Miranda, owner and founder of Namaste in Nature. Thank you so much for joining me for this joint lubricating anti-rheumatic yoga practice. Namaste and have a great day.